Welcome everyone to Nerd of the Class. In a new video about epidemiology, we are going to talk about change of infection. And what is a change of infection, may you ask? Him? Well, this is an epidemiological model, an epidemiologic model that is useful in the understanding of perfect transmissions of diseases. Okay? is the sequence of elements or links that are required for the effective transmission of a disease. The understanding of that sequence allowed to understand how we can cut that transmission, okay? So the point of learning how a disease is transmitted and what uh, and which are the elements in the transmission is cut that transmission, attack one of those elements and stop transmission, okay? Cutting the change. So traditionally, the links of the change are six. Causal agent, source of infection, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and susceptible host, in that order. However, more recent models consider that the proper links are sources of infection, mode of transmission, and susceptible host. So, so that causal agent, portal of exit, and portal of entry are more like part of the other links. And only those three big links are the actually proper links of the change, okay? So let's talk first about the causal agent. The causal agent is a microorganism, being bacteria, virus, fungi, parasite, or a, tons, uh, or a toxin that is emitted by this one that is capable to produce damage in other living organisms. Okay, it's capable to produce the disease in other organisms. This is not um, a link, okay? This pass across the links, okay? This move around or across the change going from one link to other. It, uh, the causal agent goes from the sources, from the portal of exit to the um, mode of transmission and from the mode of, of transmission from the um, portal of entry to the susceptible host. So, what are the first actual link? The source of infection. The source of infection is a living organism that contains the agent and can spread it, okay? There are two main groups, the cases, those who have signs and symptoms, and asymptomatics, okay? Which are, um, a person could be uh, asymptomatic by many reasons. Maybe he's in incubation period. Maybe that person is uh, in convalescence period or simply it has a asymptomatic infection, okay? So an important consideration, an important comparison here is that source of infection and reservoir are polemic, okay? For some authors, it's the same, okay? We have the same for the source and the same for the reservoir. However, the source of infection is an occasional habitat of the agent, and this has a portal of exit, and because it has a portal of exit, belongs to the change. But the natural habit of the agent are the reservoirs. And the reservoirs has not a portal of exit. Some epidemiologists consider that the reservoir is the actual first link of the change and not the source of infection. Some others will talk about source of infection and reservoir as the same. However, a reservoir does not have a portal of exit. Consequently, should not belong to the change, fine? So far, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Active the notification bell, that will be very useful. Okay.
let's continue. We have a portal of exit and a portal of entry. A portal of exit is the anatomic place of the source, the anatomic place that the source has, okay, that give an opportunity of uh, to the agent of going out from the source. And the portal of entry is the anatomic place of the host, of the susceptible host, that allows um, to the agent to go in to the host, okay? So consequently, these are not properly links. This belongs to links. The portal of entry is part of the susceptible host and the portal of exit is part of the source of infection. So another important, important consideration here uh, uh, are the following. Are the following, okay? Sorry. Portal of exit allows a route of exit from the agent to the mouth on transmission. And the portal of entry goes from the mouth of transmission to the susceptible host. The sequence is ordinal. So first goes the portal of exit and then goes the portal of entry. Do not confuse there, okay? First portal of exit, the agent first have to go out from the source. And then portal of entry, then the agent has to come into the uh, host, okay? It could be the same like in conjugate virus, the, the um, visual mucose, okay? Okay, of dolmen mucose nasal mucose uh, in respiratory diseases, but it could be different. Like in the inter enteric diseases, in enteric diseases, the uh, portal of exit is the anal cavity and the portal of entry is the buccal cavity. So the mode of transmission, the mode of transmission is the mechanism that the agent used to go from source to host. And this could be direct and indirect. The direct one is direct contact um, between portals, okay? For example, in sex intercourse, um, in which the portals and the genitals are touching each other, okay? The portal of entry and the portal of exit, or in kissing, when kissing. But there is also the droplets, okay? If you have the droplet flush, okay? Uh, in uh, something ca called the uh, intimacy space, okay? Mm, less than two meters of distance, and you breathe those droplets, you get infected. In other way, we have on direct in which we need vectors which are insect principally like the mosquitoes or the flies okay the mosquitoes are more uh biological vectors because mm, for example virus like dengue um, or zika can have a biological cycle or in malaria in malaria parasite has a biological cycle but in something in someone's like the fly is only um, mechanical okay the agent is on the surface of that insect and is not transmitted the disease then we have the vehicles which are mainly food and water okay these are related with enteric diseases and we have the fomites. The fomites are contaminated and unanimated objects, okay? For example, here with the COVID-19, we have to watch constantly our hands is in order that we could have those uh, fomites, all right? And finally, we have the susceptible host that is the living organism that has not the proper resistance to the infection and finally gets infected. Why many reasons that will require talk about the specific change of each disease.
and that's topic for another day so so far if you like it please subscribe share also follow me in instagram like our uh, our bro nerd of the class we have a telegram channel which you can join from the main page of the channel and we have also a paper, uh, facebook page thanks to all and see you on the next video thanks for watching